Hello my lovelies, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you doing? I hope you're having a lovely day. If you're new to my channel, hi and welcome. I'm Chloe, I'm otherwise known as Lady Rights and I'm really happy that you're joining us for today's very yummy advent calendar unboxing. If watching unboxings on YouTube are your kind of thing, then I think you're gonna like my channel. So make sure you click subscribe and ring that bell before we go any further, because there's a lot more still to come, lots of advent calendars and fun things, and head over to my Instagram to give me a little follow there too. Now in today's advent calendar unboxing video, we are unboxing the Joe and Seth's popcorn advent calendar, filled with 24 packs of gourmet popcorn guys, all different flavors, and it's 25 pounds. So I'm quite excited to dive into this one, but for you guys, I have partnered with Joe and Seth's and we are giving away one of these exact advent calendars not this one because I'm going to eat everything myself, um, but we're going to give away one of these calendars to you. All that you need to do is make sure you are subscribed with post notifications on to my channel. That is it. Competition ends end of November and I will contact the winner via DM. So if you are looking for a yummy advent calendar to accompany some of your beauty and lifestyle calendars this year, this one could be one to check out. As mentioned, it's £25 for 24 packs of gourmet, gourmet? gourmet popcorn and there is also a vegan friendly version available from Boots which I will link down below as well, which is quite cool. So without further ado, I can't promise I'm not going to eat them all as we go through, but let's dive into the unboxing. Okay guys, so the calendar looks like this. So cute, isn't it? I really, really love it. Um, let's have a little look. Oh, I can't wait to dive in. I'm so excited to try all this. So obviously we'll start with number one. Okay, so these are the sizes of popcorn that we've got. We've got salted caramel first, air popped popcorn coated in the finest all natural ingredients, handmade in Great Britain. Ooh, salted caramel. I'm gonna wait to try one of the more exotic, different flavors next. And I'm gonna have to save the chocolate ones for my son because he's a chocolate fiend. But yep, behind day number one, we've got salted caramel. Number two now. Okay, one for my son, double chocolate. Although that is cool in my name. I really, really wanna try it, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna save that one for Josh, but double chocolate is day number two. Number three now, toffee, apple, and cinnamon. I'm gonna have to give this one a whirl. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh my days. I'm gonna have to eat a whole bag. That is so good. Oh, excuse me one minute. Guys, I ate the whole pack. It was so good. Oh my gosh. So good. Moving on to number four now. And oh my gosh, I could have eaten a whole bag of that. Okay, oh my gosh, now we've got pumpkin spice, which I feel follows on really nicely from the toffee, apple and cinnamon one. So I feel like I'm like, oh, I could just roll into that. But I want to see if there's any like different flavors and mix up what I'm trying. Although I'm really tempted by that. But yep, day number four is pumpkin spice. Now we're on to day number five. Okay, we've got speculoose. I don't know what that is, got no idea. I'm just gonna throw my hands up and say, got no clue. Could be good, could not be good. But that is day number five. Now we're on to number six. Uh, guys, like, oh my gosh, I just wanna eat everything. Caramel and white chocolate. Should I try this? I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm just not gonna eat any food all day, I'm just gonna eat all this popcorn. So good. Caramel and white chocolate. I think this might be my favorite advent calendar. I mean, I've had some like 250 pound beauty advent calendars worth like a thousand pounds. This could be my favorite guys. It's definitely the most yummy. Let's have a look at what flavor is behind number seven now. Banoffee pie. Now my littlest boy would love that because he loves banana. So I know he's gonna love that. But yet behind day number, what day we're on? Number seven, banoffee pie. Number eight now, guys. Oh my gosh. Cinnamon and custard roll. I love cinnamon. I'm gonna have to try it. Cinnamon and custard roll. You sound like a dream. I hope you don't mind me eating while I'm filming this, but those are so good. I'm like, I'm getting full now, but really like those, definitely. Cinnamon and custard roll. Now we're on to number nine. And in here we've got classic caramel, a good all round, round, rounder. I don't think there's anyone who's gonna dislike that. That will be one that me or either of my sons will enjoy, whoever gets there first, I guess. Now we're on to number 10. Oh my gosh, apple pie and custard. Okay, I've got to try this one too. Anything like that. I think there's a theme here, cinnamony, custardy. 
must stop eating them all, but <laughs> they're so flipping good. Number 11 now. Okay, and we've got brandy butter here. Not sure that's my thing. In fact, it's definitely not. and definitely wouldn't be my kid's thing, but I might give that one to my dad because I think he'd quite enjoy that. But yeah, nice little selection of the brandy butter scent. Scent? Flavour. Now we are on to flavour number 12. Caramel and Belgian chocolate. Now that is the perfect one for Josh, so I'm not going to try those because I know he'll love that. But who wouldn't love caramel and Belgian chocolate? And the ones with caramel in that we've had already are right, really nicely like coated on the outside. They're so, so good. Number 13 now. Okay, we've got caramel and Belgian chocolate again. Not sure if that's intentional, but two bags there. Josh will be very happy. Number 14 now, gingerbread. Is there not a more perfect, like, festive flavour? Um, I'm not the keenest on gingerbread on its own. I like gingerbread coffee. I like gingerbread cake with chocolate, but not on its own. So, again, I think Hayden would love that because he's always into, like, biscuits and gingerbread. So I'll save that one for him. Number 15 now mint chocolate now if mint chocolate is your thing i think you might love it i hate mint chocolate i'm not gonna lie i'm not even gonna dress that up mint chocolate after eight anything like that it's a no from me so not entirely sure those will be going anywhere other than to my dad let's have a look behind number 16 now we have got another classic caramel very very much liking that now we've got two i think we've got two we're not gonna have to fight over them which is always a good thing or maybe i'll sacrifice and let the boys have one each the joys of being the mum on to number 17 now. Caramel, white chocolate and raspberry. Yeah, I'm going in, guys. That is me all over. Let's have a little try. Oh, these ones are pink. Look, they're pink. Oh, my days. Joe and Seth, your popcorn is insane. Number 18 now. <clears throat> yes. Yes. We've got another bag of the toffee, toffee apple and cinnamon ones. My favourite's the one that I literally scoffed the whole bag of. Gonna save those for tonight when I have like my, my pamper time. Yes, love it. Now we're on to number 19, orange chocolate. Now, didn't think I was a fan of orange chocolate until um, the Cadbury's and orange ones range came out recently and now I can't stop eating it. So I'm very excited to try these. I will save these for later because that is like the sort of thing I'd have in the mid afternoon, like not my 11s is, my mid afternoon 11s is with a cup of tea, but looking forward to trying that one as well. 20 now tiramisu another one that is for my dad that's not a me me kind of flavor or the boys but if you like exotic puddings then you will really like this one on to 21 now oh my gosh vanilla cheesecake now i would open this but i've got about four packs open now so i'm gonna save these ones but they sound like a bit of me as well I'm very excited by that up here to 22 now orange chocolate again so this will keep me nicely stocked for my next couple of afternoon snacks i like it 23 now Salted caramel, very, very nice. Now, Josh again would love this, so would Hayden, and so would I. So, this may be one that we fight over. And last but not least, and I genuinely do not want this calendar to end, we have got Christmas Eve 24. Milk chocolate popcorn bites. I'm going to save these for me and not put them in the cupboard in the kitchen and just keep them for, you know, a little mum treat because they sound delicious. Okay guys, so there we have it. There is the Joe and Seth's popcorn advent calendar for 2020 fully unboxed. What do you think? I mean, I know you couldn't taste them, but what do you think? Do you like the sound of all of the flavours in there? Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. My thoughts are this. This is my first edible chocolate this year. Chocolate calendar this year. And I'll be honest, like popcorn I can give or take. Like sometimes I really fancy it and then I don't eat it for ages, but gourmet popcorn and that toffee apple cinnamon one. That blew my mind and the white chocolate, raspberry and caramel one. I'm going to have to make an order for big bags of these because they are insane. Like, I feel like if you're like me who can give or take popcorn, you're going to be really impressed with this. And then if you already love gourmet popcorn, you're going to be like, see, I told you so. But it is really, really good. For £25, I love it and it's a bit different. And, you know, if you're an adult or a kid and you love like popcorn you can have a bag a day like you can open it then have it in the evening with a cup of tea or whatever but love it and the selection in there is really nice too so i'm well impressed thank you very much joe and seths and also guys remember if you want one i will link below where you can pick it up but make sure you subscribe to my channel with notifications on and somebody will be winning their own by the end of november other than that guys thank you so much for watching today's video i really hope you've enjoyed it and i look forward to seeing you very soon for my next one bye